Hello guys, welcome to my channel. It's me, Jenny Linda Guzman. In this video, I will discuss to all of you what is communication, communication breakdown, barriers to communication, and the three types or kinds of noise barriers. So guys, what is communication? Communication is a process of exchanging thoughts, ideas, and opinions in order to connect with other people. It is also involves one sender, a message, and a recipient. So let's talk about now the communication breakdown. Communication breakdown is defined as failure to exchange information. It is also a result when the intended message of the sender is not understood exactly by the receiver. And now the barriers to communication is now present. Barriers to communication. These are many reasons why intrapersonal communication may fail. In many communication, the message will not be received exactly the way the sender intended the hands. It is important that the communicator seeks feedback to check that their message is exactly understood. I will give four examples of types of barriers to communication. Physical barriers, psychological barriers, cultural barriers, and linguistic barriers. Physical barriers are the natural or environmental condition that has act as barrier in communication in sending the message from sender to receiver. Examples of physical barriers. People talking too loud. Noise from construction site. Loud sound of karaoke or videoke. Blaring of jeepney horns. Let's move to psychological barriers. Psychological barriers are called as mental barriers. These refer to social and personal issues of a sender towards communicating with others. Example of psychological barriers, trauma, shyness or lack of confidence, depression, fear or stage fright. Next is cultural barriers. Cultural barriers pertain to communication problems encountered by people regarding their instinct values, beliefs, and, and, and tradition in conflict with others. People's culture affect the way they communicate and relate to others. Examples of cultural barriers. Different beliefs, tradition and customs, manners of dressing, speaking. Last is linguistic barriers. Linguistic barriers pertain to conflict with regard to language and word meanings. Because words carry denotative and connotative meanings, they can sometimes cause confusion and misunderstanding. Meaning of words and symbols are also very depending on culture. Example of linguistic barriers, difference in language, accent and dialect, use of jargon and slang, and speech defects or language impairments. After barriers to communication, let's move to the noise barriers. The noise barriers and the barriers to communication, it is also the same, but the noise barriers has only three types or kinds and that is external, internal, and semantic noises. The first one is external noises. External noises are the sight, sound, and other stimuli that draw people's attention away from intended meaning. Example of external noises. Noise from vehicles, singing at the neighbor, visual aid, in front of the class, the dog barking, and the sound of airplane. Second is internal noises. Internal noises are the thoughts and feelings that interfere with meanings. Example of internal noises. Confrontation with a friend, fear of speaking in the front of class. The last is semantic noises. Semantic noises are the alternate meanings aroused by a speaker symbol. This idea means that a word may have another meaning in the mind of students. This affected by the language in which they grew and the culture in which they are exposed. Example of semantic noises. Incorrect grammar, 
using excessive technical jargon, and using idiomatic expression. Okay, I'm already done to discuss to all of you what is communication, communication breakdown, barriers to communication, and the three types or kinds of noises barriers. I hope you learned something on this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos. Bye-bye!